everyone, Brittany here. Today is October 20th and I'm working out in the garden slash front yard today. And I figured I'd do like a day in the garden video. Something a little bit different. So I'll show you what I'm working so on I'm today. in the front yard in front of the fence. My garden's back behind the fence. And I've already done a lot done, but I'm just cutting down all the tall weeds. So I've decided this is the first area that I'm going to shoot mulch this year. And look who I found. <laughs> Once all the tall weeds are out of here, we have some milkweed, which I didn't even know was up here. So it's super exciting. One decision I'm having a hard time making is how much of this to cut right here in front of our fence. I feel like all this craziness here prevents deers when they like come across the road from the woods right here. It prevents the deer from like going into our garden. So instead they come over here and go through the woods. So I don't want to make it easy for them to just hop into our garden. So I think I'm going to leave a lot of it here so they're not able to clear our fence as easily. And it won't look perfect, but I think that's what I need to do until I have some plants that I can put in here to prevent the deer from hopping into our garden. It rained last night, so it's super wet out here. So here's my suit setup. Cardboard, my knee pad. This is the tool I'm using. After working with this for the past like hour, I've decided to call it the beast. And I just go down to the roots to like kind of get through the grass. And I just saw the crap out of all these trees and weeds. This thing is amazing. It's so efficient. It's so easy. It doesn't take a lot of muscle. So it's really easy for me to use it. Unlike loppers and other things that require more arm strength, I can get through even things like this, this thick with this. Super easy. Highly recommend this tool. If you're dealing with what I'm dealing with, which is a freaking jungle, because we don't mow intentionally, because we don't like to. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep working, and I'll show you guys my progress. Ooh, this right here is golden seal, golden seal, golden rod, probably golden rod, and I'm not gonna cut that down because I love it, and so do the pollinators. But tree of heaven, gotta go. I think dog fern, gotta go. So these guys are gonna go bye bye. So another funny surprise is I frequently chuck bad tomatoes over the fence. So look at these volunteers. <laughs> Yay, tomatoes. And there's some cherry tomato plants right here as well. <laughs> I've made a lot of progress and what usually happens is when my kid's done working out, he comes outside and tells me it's time to eat food. He drags me inside so I can eat some breakfast. Look at that, it's looking so good, y'all. I haven't said this yet, but this is gonna be my flower garden where I plant tons and tons and tons of dahlias next year. I'm super stoked. And that's what's making this work so rewarding, is knowing that this will be full of dahlias next year. Yay. All right, breakfast time. I ate breakfast and lunch, and the next task is we're making a shelf to hang right here so I can bring more plants inside. For the winter and also acquire more houseplants so you can never have enough. It's our super legit work studio. Plastic palette, power tools. All right, ready? Yep. <laughs> have shelves. You know the age-old expression, measure tries cut once. <laughs> Whoops. Try number two. So much room for more plants. Yay. All right. Working on the next project. Started this a while ago. Working on a composting toilet system. So we need to attach the seat to the top. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, so we figured it out. We need to hinge this piece here, screw this piece in. We had to elevate the bucket because we made this a little bit too tall. Okay, so we're about done with this project. And this flips. And that piece is on a hinge, 
so you could open the lid of the bucket. And we're building this just as an emergency toilet because we have a well that needs electricity to pump water into our house. So if we ever lose electricity for long enough, we won't be able to use our toilet. So we thought it'd be a good idea to have a backup toilet. So here it is. It's fancy and classy. So here's how it works. You move this, you can take the lid off the bucket. Okay, we just ate lunch and we're gonna start our new next project. So right here, here's this garden. And then here is the greenhouse. We're gonna put a new fire pit right here. We had a fire pit. Let me show it to you. All the way down here. Ow, but the grass is really tall. We don't like walking through it in the summer because of the ticks. So we never use it. So we're gonna put it closer to the house. There's the old fire pit. New fire pit, no tall grass. So we're gonna sheet mulch it. Okay, wood chips, next. Cardboard done. Okay, so while Richard is doing the wood chips, I'm working on harvesting my roselle. I have three plants here, two over there, three in front of the fence and one in the garden. And he is moving the chips. I'm gonna get this harvested so I can get it in the dehydrator tonight. Richard has finished the wood chips, so I'm gonna go check out his hard work. Wow, very nice. Now all we need is a fire pit. Good job, good job. Okay, I just got very distracted because I found all of these huge acorns and then I had to pick them up, but Yes, I'm going to get back to task. I'm done harvesting my roselle. I have so much. I just got to finish processing it and get it in the dehydrator. Such a cool crop. I should definitely try growing it. If you like hibiscus tea, it's delicious. And it looks like all of my plants are going to set more. So that's why I wanted to get a big harvest in and kind of encourage them to produce more flowers so I can get one more harvest before frost, but we'll see how that goes. Okay, sitting inside, we're watching YouTube and processing the hibiscus. So here's the seeds, dry seeds, hibiscus, and then this is the tray where I put, um, sometimes when you open them, there's like aphids or ants or spiders inside of them. So I put them there so I can take them back outside. I just got Tony some catnip. Tony! Tony! Sit! Shake! You gotta shake! Hey! <laughs> Sit! Shake! High five! Good kitty, here you go. Yeah.